The biggest game changer in football is obviously the goal. There are so many cliches, theories and ideas around goals and goal scoring that it's hard to know which are fact and which are fiction. To find out, we've prepared a test involving our friends from across the series to see who really knows the most about scoring goals. Teams are more vulnerable to conceding immediately after scoring. Is that true or false? It's got to be true, Bill. True. 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 That's definitely false. I reckon it's true. That's false. The time in between goals tend to be random. This one is false. In fact, the opposite is true. The stats show that a team that has just scored is actually less likely to concede in the five minutes immediately after a goal than any other five minute period in the match. 2-0 is the most dangerous scoreline in football. True or false? A lot of teams go, well, you know what? We've got a 2-0 lead now and we can relax a little bit. Nonsense. I think it's true, Jase. 2 0 is proper dangerous. Proper dangerous. Lethal. You can hurt yourself. I think it's the most intriguing. I don't think it's the most dangerous. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I won't go near 2 0 mate. No. Because it is dangerous. <laughs> teams with a 2 0 lead will go on to win 90% of the time in the English Premier League and 95% of the time in La Liga. Oh, I'm doing so well here. <laughs> Goals change games. True or false? That's true. True. Well, obviously. <laughs> what do you think, Jez? Changes the score, at the very least. Nil-nil. Goal goes in, one-nil. Game's still the same, isn't it? Same. Does the pattern of play change after a goal? Yes, absolutely. They do change games. It's true. Goals do change games. The biggest change is in the number of shots both teams have. Teams that fall behind take more shots, and teams that take the lead take fewer shots. And this affects the chance of more goals being scored. You don't want to score too early in a game. True or false? Nah, that's rubbish. False. I mean, the idea is to get yourself ahead and then adjust how you want to play from there. We played Dundee in the cup and scored in 13 seconds. Magnificent. I'll take it every time. Scoring is always good, but it's true that scoring early can be dangerous. If a team scores their first goal in the opening 15 minutes of a game, there's a 47% chance that they'll go on to win it. But if the first goal comes after 60 minutes, their chance of winning goes up to 88%. A goal before half-time is the perfect time to score. True or false? It doesn't matter. False. I'm not sure about this one, Bill. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a good time to score. Puts a whole new spin on the team talk that the manager's going to give you at half-time. But then the gaffer's got time to give his team talk. Get the confidence and it could be a big blow for the, uh, the opponent. I'll be going at half-time strategised. <laughs> Relevant to me. The answer to this one is false. There's no evidence at all that scoring just before half time is more valuable than scoring at any other time in the match. Hmm, Jez, you know what I'm thinking? This game needs a goal. True or false? <laughs> True. Not always. If you're away at the European leg and you need a point, does it need a goal? Probably not. So it depends very much on the situation. This depends whether you enjoy a goalless draw or not. 7% of games finish nil-nil, and if a game is nil-nil at half-time, there is a 26% chance it will end goalless. There's a perfect time to score. True or false? Well, it's the last kick of the game. The last kick of the game? The last minute. Well, if it's a winning goal with uh, 30 seconds to go, yeah, that's the perfect time. There is a perfect time to score if it's the goal that gives the team the lead. In this case, the later in the game it happens, the more likely the scoring team will go on to win. What is the most common scoreline in football? That's a good question, Jez. What do you think? Not sure. Maybe nil-nil? One-nil? One-nil. One-nil. Two-one? Two-two? Three-three? I'd say two-one. Two-one? Five-nil? Five-two? Four-one? Seven-three. So I'm going to say three-one. <laughs> Keep it low. <laughs> Keep it low. The most common scoreline in football is 1-0, closely followed by 2-1. Is it? Come on, you lot should know that. Have I got, I've got one right, haven't I? You've got a couple right. Oh, that's all right. Better than nothing, isn't it? Really? He said that? Danny Higginbottom said that, did he?